what you should be. And he's talking to them because he wants them to know that no matter what you know about God, you still don't know God. And no matter how close you think you are to God, you still not close enough to God. And the only way you're going to get close to him is through Jesus Christ. A lot of us, we feel the same way they felt. I don't need a change in my worship style. You know, most of us, we don't like to change. Uh, you know, God is pleased with me. I, I do good works and I, and I do good will and I, and I bear arms. He accepts me as I am. And that's all that society is saying today up on Capitol Hill and throughout this country. They're not looking at whether or not they're doing what the Lord says. They're just looking at their own opinion. He accepts me and all of my junk as I am. And that's the reason why when John preached this message and he was going around telling folks that the Son of God had come to earth. Many of them rejected it because they didn't understand true fellowship with God. They felt that they were sufficient within themselves. And this whole text opens with John just keep saying the same thing. Get your heads out of the sand. You need Jesus. This passage strikes at the core of this foolishness. And that's what it is. Anybody that think they can live this life without the Son of God, you foolish. <laughs> Anybody that think that they don't need Jesus, you foolish. Anybody that think that they can lean to their own understanding and not follow, follow the patterns of Jesus, you are foolish.